Good morning. Um, my name's Louise Russell and I'm just going to share with you over the next few days, six days, some little Christmas baubles that we can make together. So very, very simple paper mache and I'll move this one just down here. Hope you've had a look at the, the list of bits and pieces that you need. So I'll just run through those with you. So you're going to need some paper from an old book or a newspaper. Your aluminium foil. Some tape. You can use um, packaging tape or um, masking tape would be fine also. A little bit of string. Um, your third of a cup of flour <clears throat> and your third of a cup of water. So what we might do first is just get our paste ready. So you've, I've already got a third of a cup of flour here in the bowl and I'm going to add my water. All of that goes in there. And then just give that a stir. Probably don't want to be using scissors. Um, maybe a spoon would be better, a better option. So just mixing that around so all the flour and water are mixed together. So yeah, I thought this might be a nice little um, activity for, um, for some of Miss Russell's students primary schools this time last week we were all at the zoo together on a zoo snooze which was pretty fun we were lucky to squeeze that in weren't we all right so that's our paste ready let's move that to one side so now <clears throat> what i want you to reach for is your aluminium foil and what we are going to do is just scrunch it into a ball 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 to be a little bit bigger, just add a little bit more foil. There we go, it's starting to take shape. So, what we're going to reach for now <clears throat> is your string. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape our string to our foil. So you'll only need a small piece for this. Oh, another essential cup of tea. So grab your, grab your string and fold it over like this. See that? And you then want to just tape the bottom onto the foil. Okay, so very loosely taped on it's not really all that secure at the moment but that's okay we're going to work on that so then we'll cover that again in foil which is just going to add another layer and help to position that foil in place all right so that is the beginning of our ball ball We've still got a bit of work to do, but what I want you to reach for next is your tape. Because this next stage, we're going to cover the whole of this foil ball ball in, um, in your tape. So I'm just going to pull some strips off and just pop them on my table here. Just makes it easier to, to 
to reach for then if you've got your tape ready. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is cover the entire ball ball with our tape. We don't want any of the foil left showing. So as much tape as you need. So yeah, just having all your tape around here just makes it really easy to access. You just pick it up and stick it on your quill. Most of that is covered. So just going back to your little hanger here, what we're gonna do, just to really secure this in place, we're gonna put a little bit of tape through the middle, through the middle of this. Probably only need a little skinny piece. I'll just tear that in half. Not sure what happened with that. Um, just reach for another piece. But yeah, just going to tear it in half. And we're going to put this piece of tape through the middle, okay? And that will just give it a really firm anchor. Can you see that? So it's gone right the way through there. So that's pretty firm there now. And I can't see, oh there's a little bit of foil exposed there, so I'm going to put a bit more tape on the bottom there. the makings or the beginnings of our Christmas bauble. So the next phase is to layer, layer it up with some paper mache, so the messy part. So what you're going to need for this stage is your newspaper or an old book and we're just going to tear it into strips. Just makes it easier to work with, I find, tearing it into strips like this. All right, and then we'll reach for our paste. And look, an alternative to using the flour and water paste for your paper mache is, is to use some PVA glue. You can, you can grab this from your local, local supermarket too. Um, so if you have PVA glue, you can use you can definitely reach for this. But today we're going to use our glue pea paste that we've just created, which is flour and water. And very simply, <clears throat> you want to reach for your strips of paper and just lightly cover them in the paste and then rest it over the end edge of the bowl. So we'll do this with a few of them. Super messy is this stage, isn't it? What I should have done is suggested to have either some wipes or definitely a water bowl and a cloth nearby. Because when I, I head out to my kitchen, <laughs> take these dirty fingers with me um, and I've got to open the door first so it's going to be a pretty messy pretty messy procedure so yes water water on standby is a good idea so I've got a few of these happening here just making sure that they're all covered in that 
flour and water paste that we've made. That might be enough just to start with. Okay, so you reach for your ball ball and then we just start to layer our paper, paper mache onto the ball. It's easy, easier just having a few here ready to go with. And you might find initially it's, they're a little bit tricky to stick, but as you start adding the layers, you will find that they do all stick together. So, just adding more and more layers so all of the tape is covered with paper. And you might find that it's looking really messy at the moment, like mine is, but that's okay. We, we can work on these layers. And you can just keep adding more until you're happy with the shape. So mine is nearly covered. I've got a little bit more to do. I'd love to see your creations when you finish them. All right. So that is the first layer. So all of all of my tape is now covered. And hopefully yours is too. All covered with the paper. Now, with this one, with this one that I created, she's got quite a textured finish. And the reason that I did that is because I didn't know whether you guys had any paints at home. So I kind of wanted the paper to be quite an effective finish. So that if you didn't have paints, then, you know, you can just leave it looking as she is um, and let the paper be the feature. So that's what we'll do for this one. So your paper ball at the moment, you can see it's probably quite a smooth finish. So if you wanted and had paints at home, you could leave this to dry and then add paint onto it. But we are going to go for the textured finish because not all of you may have access to paint. So what we'll do, we'll get some more strips of paper. So just as we did before, but what we're going to do with these, we're going to we're going to put some of the um, the glue on there, and then we are just going to fold it into a thin strip. So just keep folding it over till you've got a thin strip like this, and we'll make a few of them. So just grabbing your paper, adding a little bit of glue, and then folding it into a strip. There you go. So I'll probably need a good few of these. <clears throat> messy
how many have I got here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little strips. Might make a couple more and then we can start layering, layering up the bauble for that little textured finish. I also use this same process to make some little sculptures um, and sculptures are called the Russell family. You may have seen those on my Instagram or my Facebook page or your parents may have seen them on those pages and they're also on my website too. So now back to the ball ball. You're going to grab your little strip and we're just putting on another layer and you will see that it does just add a, a lot of a lot more texture. Which I think looks quite cool. So you're just layering, layering it all up and covering it all. with your little strips that you've created. How's it looking? Hopefully you're happy with it. Coming together, isn't it? see how it's changing. <coughs> you can probably hear a little bit of background noise out there. We have um, my daughter and her boyfriend here and he's staying with us for the next six days and he bought his little dog Jess and little Jess and our two chocolate Labradors were um, they were fenced in last night as they always, as they normally are, and and Jess chewed through the the fence and escaped. So they're reinforcing the fence as we speak. You can probably hear that background noise out there. So this one is very nearly finished. Put this last one on here. So then. Once you've added enough layers, what we then need to do is wait for it to dry. And that is probably going to take the best part of today, I would say. So then when we come back tomorrow, we can start to add some little details on there. But for the moment, I'll probably say goodbye and tune in again with you later once it's dry. Thanks for joining me. Bye.